Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Last time we had a very long episode where we ended up doing two missions. The first mission wasn't that long, but the second one, oh boy. The second one took a while. So, we're coming back here and we're going to do uh, the next mission here, Pistol Pete Showdown. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's start mission. The name sounds familiar on this mission, but I cannot remember anything else about the mission. I don't imagine any of us got much sleep, so I'll spare the small talk. This is a situation. We managed to take the airfield, but we haven't pushed the Japanese off the island yet. Still delaying our repair crews with artillery from the west, and they hit us hard last night, as you can tell. Headquarters is calling that artillery position Pistol Peak. We can't use this airfield with Artie firing at us all day and all night. I want that damn Pistol Peak taken out. Raider Patrol say there's a Scot and some Coast Watchers in the area have been on the island since the start of the war. Yeah, people that come with me tend to die, though. <laughs> Alright, well, we have a Grand, 1911, and that's it. Alright, well. Let's crouch. Square, square. I almost pressed L2 again. All right, let's see here. Oh, I see one. There's one right there too, yeah. Oh, bad shots, bad shots, very bad shots. There we go, that was better. But he's still alive. That one's still alive? I thought I shot him like at least twice. Oh, I guess he needed three shots. Canteen. Anyone else back there? Oh, yep, hello. Come on now, I know a Garand is more accurate than that. I've fired a Garand before. It's way more accurate than that. Give it some credit, your game. Give this great rifle some actual credit here. Alright, let's see. That's, uh, what is that? Is that a... Oh, it's a little health pack. I haven't barely been hit yet. I got hit like once, and I already found a canteen to heal that, so... Hey, I got that guy with a headshot. That was just his helmet. Oh, boy. Can't... Oh! Hello. His friends. There we go. Oh, boy. I hear some to the left as well. Grenade! That I actually meant to throw that time. Alright, let's get back focus on this guy again. Did I get him? Oh, I guess I got that guy. I thought I just, like, wounded him. Uh, I assume they're to the left? Yep. Oh, boy. Ah! Does one of my friendlies have a machine gun? Of some sort. Oh, yeah, you got a BAR. That's cool. Alright, I'm about to give up on this 1911 at anything more than point blank. Still better than it was in Frontline, but still not great. There we go. That should have been a headshot, yep. I don't know why there are some uh, M1 Grand clips just sitting out here in the middle of the jungle on Guadalcanal, but you know what? Whatever. Ow! Hey! Grenade! I get him? Hey, that worked! Yeah, that was a nice grenade. Martin. Martin? Oh. Uh, hi! Oh, that might be our native friend. Oh, they might be. Hello. Are you our native friends? You're a lucky chat we ran into you, Marine. I'm Martin Clements, and this is Salas and Keith. We've just come across a squad of your mates, and they're in a very tight spot. Well, let's go help him out. Yeah, by the way, be more careful about how you come up on me like that, because I did have a machine gun at my disposal, and it's a good thing I can't accidentally kill you guys, because uh, that's exactly what would have happened. Oh, nice hiding spot, buddy. I like it. Can I go in? There we go. Oh, gosh. I almost shot you. Oh, look! They have infields. Nice. Cool. More M1 Grand ammo, more grenades. I like grenades. 
when I'm not accidentally throwing them at everything while trying to crouch. All right, save complete. Let's see where we go now. Up here. Well, you're going too slow. I don't want to wait for you. Take a look. Ooh. Take your squad down the path to the left and set up overlooking the plantation house. Sellers keep an eye on flank them to the right. Hold your fire until we're in position. Got it. Can do. Let's crouch. Or not. So we're going left, right? Yeah, right over here. That's Dana from Basic. Three eight five four six eight oh nine four. How many planes shall still fight? How many? Lee Dean K. Ow! Yeah, get out of here. The uh, melee is way more satisfying in this game than it was in Frontline, in my opinion. Get out of here. Uh, reload. Those are our guys. Stop moving. Oh, gosh. Stop moving, you. Yeah. Uh, there's still a guy alive in here, though. There we go. Okay. Well, they're all alive still, I think, right? They're all still alive. Oh, there's their uh, Garands, too. Do I need to go bind them and cut them free? Yep, there, there, and there. Good. Kind of like the guy who was in my unit till the Philippines. He sure we never met me. Never mind about that now. We were sent out this morning to destroy Pistol Pete and were ambushed in route. I still need to get to that gun, and I need your help to get there. We're all trying to get there. Artillery is more important than you knew. We spotted a convoy of Japanese transport ships racing for the coast this morning. Now, if you lads can't get the airfield up and running soon, well, we may not be able to hold the island. It kind of makes me want to play um, battle stations again. Oh gosh! So are those two guys gonna get up, or are they just kind of gonna stay here until we can come back and give them proper medical attention? Oh, I seem to remember hating something like this part. Oh gosh. Look at all this tall grass that we can't see through. I bet we're gonna have some bonsai chargers in here. I mean, not just these guys with bayonets, but I mean the, the full-on sword dudes. The officers. There we go. Alright, let's reload the Garand as well. Okay. Oh! I saw that coming. Alright, well, you know what? I'm gonna kind of just make a run for it. Kind of neat that you can see the mortar shells coming at you, but also, like, weird looking. Hold on. Bad shooting, I know, but you know what? I'm under pressure. There we go. Oh, there's one more. Stop it. Hi. Can I use this? I can't use this. There's probably more guys here. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice smack there, bud. Get that guy. There's a lot of people here. Oh! Ow! Hey, let me, let me, let me. Oh, gosh. There we go. Oh, a tank! So, can I not, can I really not use this thing? I, oh, yes I can, good. Do it again. One more time. One more time. Okay, it's done. There we go. Ah, good enough. Anyone else? How is this thing hitting the air, where is the airfield, that way? Oh, it goes quite far, actually. Huh. All right. Well, cool. So, what are we blowing it up? Uh, keep moving so the pack hours won't. Enemies may be in the kunai grass for cover. Yeah, they were near the pack howitzer. Uh, they're they're dead. These pack hours are way past. 
Look for look west for a path heading toward the pistol peat. West. Gotcha. Oh, this path down here, I see. 1911 is loaded. We are ready to go. Man, I want to fire a Garand again. It was so much fun. Such an awesome rifle. You know what? I got something for you. Grenade! Over the rock. And grenade at a slightly more shallow angle, just in case. Hmm. It's kind of sad that even this game has better hitboxes than some new games as far as, like, clipping the sides of rocks or other things. There we go. Uh, I'll just grab some stuff here. Are we following the river, or...? I guess not. Which machine gun? This machine gun? This one? Oh, yeah, yep, this one. Is that all? Four guys. Oh, come on. Give me an excuse to keep firing. Oh, alright. Oh! Hello. Uh, grenade. That was intentional that time. He ran away from it, though. They don't always run from it. Where's this other guy at? That shot. I only have two rounds left in my clip. Uh, hi. Nice try, but uh, you're gonna have to hide a little better than that. Grenade! Ooh, that was a good grenade! Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Yes! Perfect! Oh, gosh. Hey, he was tough. Uh, canteen? Nice. And I assume there's more people back there. I'll take this canteen, though. Where are they? You see them? I can't see anybody. Oh! Well, good eye, friend. Um, I didn't see him. There we go. Oh, boy. What the heck did that one guy do? Oh, boy. Get out. Where'd he go? What the hell? Oh, there he was. Grenade! Perfect. There's another one up there, is there? Oh, no, friendlies. Good. Sounds like our friends need some help over here. Out of ammo. I really, uh, like, I know that, um, we just got Call of Duty World War II to come out, but now I really want Battlefield to make a new World War II game as well. We still, at this, at the time of recording this, we still don't know what the next Battlefield game is going to be set in. I would love for it to be set in World War II, though. Not only so we'd have something to compare to Call of Duty World War II directly, but just because, like, I know Battlefield does such a good uh, good job with their, just with their attention to detail, the sounds. When did I get a Thompson? Oh, baby. Well, now you're all dead. Oh, I love the Thompson in this game. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. It's so powerful in this game. It's great. Let's reload the Garand as well. This is still our precision weapon. You know, precision in air quotes. It's a very relative term in this game. The real M1 Garand was very accurate. As people say, a rifle just has soul. Like, it's just... It just... It, there's no way to just put it into words. You gotta fire it for yourself to really... Know what we mean by that. Oh, I thought that was a tripwire. There's a fissure in the rock leading into the caves that may be unguarded. Hmm. Follow me. Unguarded or not, uh, we're going through. They ain't going to stop us. Not with my Thompson. All right, lads. The moment of truth. We'll meet you across the bridge to the north. 
appears to be mostly unguarded. No, nope, never mind. Grenade. Spoke too soon. Jump, jump, jump. I'm trying to jump. Here we go. There's, oh, he's running. He's probably going to tell his friends. Ouch. That one guy's still alive. Oh, he's dead now. There we go. Good job, friend. You're way more useful than Gunny ever was. Oh, boy. Grenade. Finish the reload. I got most of them. Can do. Let me grab this ammo and stuff, too. Real quick here. Ooh, save machine. Perfect. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick. So I guess that howitzer was not the Pistol Pete uh, location. This must be here. I mean, makes sense. Still, though, that howitzer did fire pretty far. That thing we were we were sitting on before. Uh, sure. How do I do? Oh. I. Gosh. Great. You're stepping on it. What do you? All right. That's one way to do it. I wanted you to get further back, but you know what? It's fine. There we go. I just want to see what a new Battlefield game would do with a Thompson, an M1 Garand, etc. STG-44, MP-40. All those really iconic World War II weapons. I feel like Battlefield... A new Battlefield game would do really well. The closest thing we have for reference of a... a a World War II, a new-ish World War II Battlefield game was Battlefield 1943, but it was that was a, more of an arcade um, well, it was technically an arcade game, at, at least in regards to the Xbox uh, marketplace so it definitely played like one. It was like three maps and only America versus Japan and that was it. So, I think they only charged like 15 bucks for it, but I mean a full World War II Battlefield game. That'd be amazing. Ooh. Oh, this looks cool. This is a cool area. I like this level so far. Uh, someone... Oh, hello. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit you. Never mind. That worked perfectly. That's the kind of accuracy the... Ah, hey, there we go. Now it's showing its true colors. Um, I feel like this is going to break underneath me, but... Just take the walk of faith, I suppose. Uh, so am I gonna... S I seem to remember doing something with this crane, vaguely. But maybe not, I don't know. We shall see. Someone up here? Oh, yes. Grenade. Ah, ah, fine, I'll just shoot him. Grenade, ah. Let's try that again. Let's... Try that again. There we go. That's better. I didn't get him, though. No. Oh, okay. Invisible walls. Some of the hitboxes and clipping is, like, really good. I guess some of it is not so good. Oh, well. It's fine. All good. Whoa! Did you do that? Wow, okay, cool. Um, I'll take this real quick, I guess. I have a lot of Thompson ammo, but I am not... Complaining. I thought I did something with the crane. I guess not. Can we see the uh, airfield from here? I don't know. There's something burning over there. Huh. Cool. It's a cool looking place. I like it. It makes a... I don't think Guadalcanal is... I don't think we'd see this much land. Like, from any point on Guadalcanal. Unless we're looking down the length of the island, but... Like, it kind of looks like way all the way around. I don't know. Guadalcanal is not that big of an island. Ooh, grenade! Okay, well. That one's on a timer, or a fuse, I mean. There we go. Canteen. Oh, hello. Grenade! I do love my grenades. Uh, 
Oop, hello. Grenades from the back. And shoot this guy. I missed. Grenade. That's better. Yep, that'll do it. I love how much Thompson ammo I have. Oh, please, I want to pick it up. Oh. Oh, hello. Excuse me. There we go. Guess we're going this way? I see you back here. Don't think I don't. That, was must, that must be Thompson ammo, right? Yep. Uh, some health pack down there. Don't need that. Grenade! Where'd it go? Oh, well, it went pretty much where I wanted it to, looks like. Got most of these guys. Alright, well, good. So, what's up here then, I wonder? Uh, I'm out of grenades. Crap. Hey, pistol Pete artillery destroyed. Good. Um, melee! Alright. I wonder if that bridge in the cave led to a collectible. But, oh well. Let's just get across this bridge here. Oh, they apparently shoot at us. Wait, no! Buddy! Get across! Oh! What did I tell you at the beginning of this about people coming with me and dying? Where am I? Oh gosh. Alright, whatever. Alright, let's move on then. Here he is, sir. This kid's got potential. Really hate to lose him, but I think he's exactly what you're looking for. Hmm, interesting. Well, given my fear of how long the next mission might end up being, I think we're gonna call it there. Well, we got this cutscene to see here, but... Seven months after joining the war, America's need for intelligence gathering and distribution was growing critical. Traditionally, these tasks had belonged to the Department of State. President Roosevelt sought advice from a trusted friend, William J. Donovan, a Medal of Honor recipient and veteran of the Great War. Donovan proposed a new, autonomous, and covert organization to carry out intelligence missions behind enemy lines. The Office of Strategic Services was created in June 1942 under Donovan's control. This elite force would swiftly become a critical weapon against the Axis. With units sent to every front, agents of the OSS were instrumental in many Allied victories. Hmm, cool. All right, well, yeah, again, given how <laughs> afraid I am of, you know, the next mission being another 40, 50-minute mission, uh, we're going to call it there. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.